I hope not to disappoint you with this journey on the slave trail in Richmond. This is a very, very good documentary. Please watch the whole thing. Subscribe. Turn on your notifications. I'm going to teach my kids the importance of being academically ready in America today. Peace. I took my children on this journey to the uh, slave trail in Richmond. I wanted to like really show them something different, show them a different approach. So this is when you drive in, this is all you see is this vague sign. And then you see the other sign telling you go left. And I got lost here for a, for a moment trying to find out exactly where to go from this point. Then I found this sign about five, five minutes later after walking around. And it shows me that I'm at the beginning of the historic save trail. Wow, you scared? Yes, I don't, I don't want to do that. We're going out here to Represent. Get the other bandana. That's Trey's bandana. Get your, get it, Trey. Come on, Trey. Take your bandana. Pull the water up here. Mine. Get the water. All right, you can stop before until we get over. Now we get a chance to start the journey, and we're going to talk about what happened during the slave trails. And I'm going to express to my children the importance of achieving academically, and you know, doing better in school. And, I want them to experience firsthand what happened. We're out here at the Richmond Slave Trail, and I want to come in close so you can hear me. I want to, um, I got my sons. One son has a camera. The other son's life right here. And we are right here where the slaves that came to the United States came aboard right here on this very ground. They came, they crawled out of this river off of ships and were brought to the continent of the United States right here where we're standing at. And I have been stressing to my children the importance of academic success. I have been stressing to them the importance of making good grades and reading and achieving things. And today, I'm gonna to show them the importance because through conversation, they're not listening. They're not listening to what I'm saying, what I'm trying to teach them. So today, we're gonna to go on, we're gonna learn a lesson from the past. They're gonna realize why reading is so important. You need to look at the cameras, right? Your, your job is to record, okay? Don't look around at everything. Look at the camera light. This is all about this lesson right here today. Y'all both are failing in y'all reading in English classes, academically, okay? I want to teach y'all the past and the history of black people in America, what they're not going to teach you in school. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. This is where your ancestors came and was dragged over here from Africa as slaves and were brought aboard right here. On this very ground we stand on, you can read it. They came, they came here and they was marched on this path we're about to march on. They were marched, chained, neck to neck. They had chains on their neck. Get a picture of this. You see that? That would have been your mother. Now come back to me. That would have been your mama. That would have been your sister. That would have been you. That would have been Ray Ray. That would have been Fats. That would have been Messiah. They were marched over here through this thing, marched to the other side of town to a slave market. The women was raped. The men was raped. How would you like if a man raped them? All right? Women was raped and they were sold. So I'm trying to tell y'all that your academic success is very important. You need to learn how to read. You didn't want to listen to the lesson when I tried to tell you. So now we're going to go out here and we're going to walk three miles today. All right? This is a three-mile journey. We're going to walk three miles there and we're going to walk three miles back. So it's going to be six miles for you to contemplate whether you want to have academic success or do you want to grow up and do something with your life that's not beneficial. Reading is fundamental, okay? And this is going to be a journey. Show my feet. I'm taking a journey with no shoes, no shoes on to show them. I got two chains, they both gonna hold it while we're walking on this journey to realize how important reading is. Look at the camera tray, don't look around at everybody else. You got one job and that's to record, okay? Your teacher said that you don't pay attention in school. I believe it, because you're not paying attention to what's going on right here. Today, we focus and we're gonna learn about your past, all right? All right, turn the camera off. Spanning nearly 350 years, the transatlantic slave trade displaced over 12 million Africans from their native lands and foreign souls. It says African men, women, and children. The victims experienced unimaginably inhumane and horrific circumstances. Right here, we speak. When we go down here, it says that this is the Manchester's Dock. This is where the largest source of enslaved blacks on the east coast of America were brought ashore. Right here, where we're speaking at. This is history right here. You're standing on ground where people. Ancestors were bonded and took over there and found their families were separated right here. What if you never saw your mom again? That's what happened to these kids that came over here. So come on, let's turn the camera on. Let's walk. Going around here, they're going to learn.
about the past. They'll learn about the history. They'll learn the significance of academic success, reading, making good academic scores. This is, they're going to walk to learn this lesson today. All right? We're on the slave trail in Richmond. We got these colors on because we're standing against gangs. We're standing against violence. We're talking about unity. There's too much going on in our community that's being destroyed. So this is our march. When we stopped by this marker, I was able to show my kids what would happen to kids their age when they were marched off of the slave ship. They could see the sticks that bind their necks together. Liberty, and I asked them what they like this to happen to them. Granted today. Come beside me like while I talk to you. It is very important that you learn to read. It's very important that you excel in everything you do, okay? Reading comprehension is key. Mathematics is key. This trail that we're about to go on, is the trail that our ancestors marched. Blood was shed. People died on this pathway we're walking right now for the rights and the liberty that we have and enjoy today, okay? It's not a joke. It's not a game. We are on the historic slave trail in Richmond. It's a three-mile journey. And while we're walking, I want y'all to think about y'all conduct in school. I want you to think about whether or not you're paying attention in class. I want you to think about how much time you're spending on the video games. Y'all all got marks on y'all report cards, both of y'all. I want you to think about those marks and comments your teachers made because I tried to talk to y'all about it and y'all didn't want to listen. So now y'all gonna remember this lesson, okay? You get it? Mm -hmm. You smell that? Something dead. That's the smell of something dead. You smell that thing that stink? Mm -hmm. This is dead animal real close. So y'all be careful where y'all walk. Let's go. Come on, Charlie. Turn it off? Every time you turn the phone off, turn it off. So that way you don't die. There's no book on fatherhood. There's no manual I could read. I just try to teach my kids the best I can. And I know when I was growing up, maybe if someone gave me some more imagery, if someone put some more creativity into me being a better person, if someone made it serious but funny at the same time, <laughs> maybe so I could have learned a little more. All right, we're out here today on the Richmond Slave Trail. Walk back, Trey. We're out here. My son, life, hold the chain, life. Come beside me. He's doing bad in school today. His grades is low in English. I keep telling him to tighten up, do better in school. He don't want to do it. So I got him out here today walking the trail. And I'm walking the trail like this, barefooted, just like this. We're going to walk six miles. This is the Richmond Slave Trail. When our ancestors came, ancestors came aboard right here, they had to walk this trail right here to go over there to Shaco Bottom area to the auctions and be sold. Academically, our children have to improve. They have to improve in mathematics. They have to improve in reading, reading comprehension, and all other social skills. So today, what I chose to do is teach my sons. I got one son right here, the other one holding the camera. We're gonna go on a journey so they realize the blood that was shed and the sacrifices that were given so they can have the freedom that, that they take for granted. I'm done talking. Talk is over. It's time for action. So I'm taking action. And as we take this six mile journey, three miles there, three miles back, hopefully they'll realize that they need to tighten up in school. This is an example. Like I say, I'm done talking. Action time. I felt like they was really understanding. I felt like I had a breakthrough with my kids. Walking the slave trail, it was like real spiritual to me. It was a powerful journey. And we got some good images that they can always reflect on it and go back on. They got a lesson that they could talk to other kids about, teach kids about. You gotta get in front of us, right? <laughs> Sorry, like. Come on, Trey. See, you want to tell us a story? Let me tell you the story. You'll get looked for you listening to your older. No, no. No. Yes. How you doing, sir? Good, man. Yeah. Okay. When you get to this part of the journey, 
it's obscure. You don't know which way to go, whether you go left or right, but you actually have to go down to the right and follow the the flood wall around that little path because at that point we didn't know what to do, which way to go. The wind is so heavy, I just muted the volume. But the rocks was hurting my feet. Rough. It wasn't the even funny at this point. Feet. I hope that these kids are learning something from this lesson that we're out here learning today. I'm trying to teach them today about achieving academic success in America and how important it is. And it's important whether you're white or black. It's important for everybody. You gotta be good. You gotta be good. You gotta be good at math. You have to excel in school. I'm walking on rocks, I walked on glass, my feet are burning. It's all about a lesson I'm trying to teach them. Y'all stay having a motivated life. You don't need to all right, turn it off. We finally made it out of the wooded area. Now we're actually in downtown. I think it may be the Shaco Bottom area, but we're on 15th and Main Street where the actual slave auction site was. This is where the slaves would walk through and hotels was there and it was auction houses right there and everyone could see them. This is the triangle with this statue here. The kids are happy. They learned a lesson. Everyone's looking at us because it's right off of the interstate. Everyone's was like, man, what are these guys doing? I'm dressed like I came straight from Wakanda. This is in front of the statue there. It's like a remembrance statue. And uh, you see the kids are posing. I'm there having a time of my life, just instructing my kids. I feel like a powerful, superhuman dad. Um, it was wonderful. I actually enjoyed the slave trail. I re recommend anybody to go there. Got my son on my shoulder, letting him know that whatever we go through, whatever bondage, I'm going to hold you up. And we're just like just bonding and growing having a great time together father and son my other son he's the best cameraman he likes to stay behind the camera because he does take the best pictures but go to the slave trail follow the marks on the ground and learn feel get the images get the memories and it's wonderful you won't regret it we had a wonderful time and we got all the way to this point my feet are hurting the feet are burning but we're not done we still had to go to lumpkin's jail next and when we get to Lumpkin's jail, I had a whole nother story to teach him. Lumpkin slave jail. Here goes the journey to where all the atrocities was committed. But stay heavily motivated, keep joining us, and just check it all out. That's the jail. I researched this guy Lumpkin. He was a real character. At this slave jail, man, it was the worst. Black people were treated so bad. And the crazy thing is that he actually married a black woman and had five kids by her. But he was the one they'd take him to for whip, for whipping. He'd take him, they'd take him there to break him down. He was like the worst of the worst. They called it the devil's half acre because he had a half acre of suffering. They'd go there and it was just so much foolishness and craziness to happen. We got to take academic success real in America today. And in this site, I could feel it. So what we did today is we completed the slave trail walk from the site where we started when they came above out of the ships to the soil and now we're here at Lumpkin Slave Jail in Richmond, Virginia. During this walk, I had a time to express the importance of education to my children. I had a time to express the importance of knowing what our ancestors were. I had the time to express the importance of being academically excellent, black excellent. To my children. I tried to tell them a lesson and they didn't listen to the lesson. So we walked through a lesson. Together we walked the three mile slave trail to lead to this point. Now we're at Lumpkin's jail and I explained to them the atrocities that happened here to people that look just like us. This is a little building that they put up to, to show what it looked like. And if you look around, when we go through here, we're gonna go through where a bunch of slaves are buried at and a bunch of unmarked graves. So my encouragement to y'all is to excel at whatever you do and don't be a slave to nothing. All right. Get it close to the sign. Preservation. Preservation site. This is what we're about to go into. Now as we got here, 
it was another ball game. It's like you could feel the intensity. I could tell that they were like thinking about the spirits, thinking about their ancestors, and maybe realizing that it's actually more to fight for. It's another reason to stand up in class. When we got to the old Negro burial ground, we got to read this sign. And I was telling them that we're about to go where a bunch of our ancestors are buried and executed and just everything. It was a very heartful journey. I'm happy I was able to experience it with my children. And that's once you go through there, that's the opening. It says no sports activities. And that's where they're saying it's a lot of bodies as a remains of a lot of Walking in to the site. In this area, we paid respect to our ancestors, and I really don't think these boys are going to be the same. I think my children really grew up doing this little mission. They were exposed to some truths that they made wasn't ready for. All right, y'all, we made it. We made the race. We made it to the end. What do y'all think? What do you think about the slave trail, like? Huh? It was a hard walk. It was a what? They killed them here too. They killed them here too, yep. Everything right here where we're standing. I told you at the Lumpkins Jail, a lot of atrocities took place. That's why so many bodies buried here, because they killed them here too. Did y'all learn anything today? Look at the camera, what you learn? What you learn, Trey? Right. Huh? To get your grades up. To get your grades up, why? You mad at why? Why you wanna get your grades up? No. You don't know? Why not to get it up? Did you learn anything like? Yeah. What you learn? I learned slaves was buried at, um, I wanted to get my grades up because the slaves did not have education. So they, some slaves did not know how to read or nothing else. So you're going to do better in school? Yeah. All right. I was amazed to see some of the gifts left there. It was like sweet potatoes. It was bananas. It was water. Someone left cards with thank you notes. They was burning some things. And we read the signs, and this is the, um, it was just an awesome spiritual journey. Please take your kids. Right there, I feel like, man, I feel like a superhero. I feel like a dad. I feel like a 100% real man, even though I'm dressed, my feet hurt. I'm partially dressed, my feet hurt. I just feel wonderful. I'm happy that they have preserved the site. I'm happy to make the journey. African Ancestral Burial Ground. I came a long way. You never know how I changed my life around. But keep following the journey. Join me, follow Heavily Motivated, subscribe, like the channel, and just take your kids there, Richmond, Virginia. At the end of this journey, we're going to the trail, made it here. See what it says. In memory of the African ancestors, and symbolizing the spiritual resurrection of the liberated and inspired people. And that's it. I end with this picture with Trey and his flower. It was a beautiful flower, beautiful day, beautiful lessons. Stay tuned for the next video. We got coming. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications. Thank you.